We need to hear from you. We need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, what will we do? Wanting you more each day. Show us your perfect way. There is no other way that we can live. We need to hear from you. We need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, what will we do? Wanting you more each day, show us your perfect way. There is no other way that we can live god bless you general williams we need to hear from you we need a word from you if we don't hear from you what will we do god bless you tomorrow beckford Wanting you more each day. Show us your perfect way. There is no other way that we can live. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see another day. This is the new month of March. I want to say thank you, Lord, for taking us through January. Thank you, Lord, for taking us through February. It was not for you in our cell. Where would we be at this time? This is a new day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it at this time. As we're about to go through this day, Lord, I'm asking you to cover us on your blood. Fly every trap of the enemy at this time. Every spirit that was set up against us today, we shut it down. In the name of Jesus, cover your people today. We give God thanks for releasing help to someone. In the name of Jesus, all the victory reports for February. I want to say thank you for all the healing, the breakthroughs, Lord, for providing for us during February at this time. Thank you, Lord, for the theme that you gave us that we should run the race. Lord, I want to say thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy that brought us through. Lord, we give God thanks for sending angels to fight on our behalf in this midday watch. Expose of adversary or fell at this time. We declare and declare the manifestation of your glory. In the name of Jesus, cover our families, cover our community members, cover our children, cover our boys, cover our girls at this time. We tear down every spiritual wickedness in our places that fight against us today. You said weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. We ask an angel to each and every person that will hear this prayer. In the name of Jesus, tear down every stronghold in the seventh watch. We ask an angels in the 3 p.m. We ask an angels at this time in the 6 p.m. We ask an angels into midnight. In the name of Jesus, we ask an angels in the month of March. That Lord, you release open doors for persons who have been struggling. For persons who feel like giving up, Lord, strengthen them. In the name of Jesus, lead and direct us at this time. Cover us under your blood. As the song says, we need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, Lord, we don't know what to do. We don't know what direction to take. Lord, I give God thanks for those who are listening in this watch. Lord, as you led me to come on at this time, let your will be done. Touch those who will be listening at this time and those who will be listening after this live. I want to say thank you, Lord, for your blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, Rosemary. Thanks for joining in. Um, I have not been on for the month of March. I'm just coming off my church platform, the Emmanuel Apostolic Church in Lancaster. We pray every Tuesday um, from 10 p.m. to 12 midday, and we pray for our children. And is every time we need to pray for our children is now. 
So I'm just here just to explain um, our theme that we had for the month of March. Um, the prayer alert ministry we pray midday. Um, we pray also midnight. Um, but from during during the days and the weeks of February, you know, we have been praying from 6 p.m. 6 a.m. in the morning to 9 p.m. And even in these watches, we have been praying for individuals. Because in that watches, you know, most persons are at school. Some persons are at work, you know, preparing to go to work. I've been praying for individuals. And the theme that the Lord gave us for the month for prayer alert was Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. And it says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And um, that was our main scripture for the month of um, February. So now we're in the month of March. Um, I didn't get to explain, you know, the theme and so on. But we have been praying and we have been interceding on persons. But have, we have seen your prayer requests when they come in on um, Facebook. And persons have been sending their requests. I just want to know. I just want to notify you all that we are praying. Praise God. God bless you, Sister Coda. Thanks for joining in. I'm just here to explain the theme. Oh, I'm not sure why it's, why it's not able to share. But I will check. But I'm just here just to explain the theme. And uh, what we have been doing for the month of February. February has been such a short, short month. So I can't believe that we have arrived into March already. And um, I just want to give God thanks for taking us through the month of March, February, sorry, and now we're in March. Um, but I just shared it Evangelist Coda, so I'm not sure. So you can try again. But for the month of February, oh, I'm not sure. So for the month of February, uh, we have been looking at at Hebrews 12 verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also come past about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and sin that does easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for joy that was set before him, endured the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of god this is a popular um, scripture that was you know stated in hebrews that within this end time we have to run this race and um as i said earlier that when when persons run a race um they have different gears and equipment and they're trained you know by their coaches and they're prepared for the olympics they they have preparation for the different events that they have and they have to you know be prepared mentally and physically for the race to come and anything that is blocking them for them not to complete their race or to complete their training they have to drop it off because why they want to win the olympics they want to get gold they want to get silver or bronze but everybody's aiming for gold god bless you Lloyd simpson and once you're aiming for gold you know that's where that's what they're training for but mishaps happen along the way during their training and maybe they have a um they pull this um their string or something some happen to their muscles and they're unable to get the goal so same like our athletes who are aiming to get their goal at the olympics is the same effort and strategy strategy that we should have going forward with our christian life you know many of us have started along the 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 the, the, the path of you know baptizing in jesus name full of the holy ghost you know and and living right but the race is continuous. It's not just a first, second, third stage. There's no limitation with our Christian walk with the Lord. So here, they're encouraging the Hebrews. Those are in um, in the book of Hebrews. It is saying that, seeing also there's such a great cloud of witnesses that us lay aside every weight and sin that does easily beset us. There are many things that can block us in this end time. And I may have something that is blocking me. But I, Leota, Vassal, have to know what is blocking me from moving to the next level of God. You know, my weakness may not be Sister Nicoda's weakness. My weakness may not be Loy Simpson's weakness. My weakness may not be Janiel Williams' weakness. But everybody have their weakness. Everybody have their struggle. 
So we are the ones who have to go to the altar and ask our repentance and you know ask God for a direction that this sin that is besetting me from moving forward. Lord, I need your guidance, I need your direction. I want you to cleanse me, I want you to wash me, I want you to purify me. And that's how the Lord will work upon our hearts, our minds, and our soul and our spirit. And when you are truthful and when you are, you know, um, being genuine and saying, Lord, I'm struggling with this sin. I'm struggling with this thing. God, please take it away from me. You have to be sincere about it. So because we want to win the goal, we want to go to heaven. Because our aim is to go to heaven. And that is our goal as a Christian. And you cannot go to heaven with any baggage. You can't go to heaven with anything that will block you. As I was reflecting and we we're talking and discussing that, some of us hold on to our past. All of us have been through our past. All of us have been through something that has hurt us and wounded us for years, months, and maybe days. But we'll have to let go of our past so we can progress forward. And sometimes what we're holding on to, it is like blocking us and blinding us to see what is what the Lord has for us. It blocks us from the open door. So any sin that easily beset us, let us run with patient the race that is set before us. So we'll have to run this race. We'll have to run it with the help of God. And we cannot do it on our own. And that's why you have prayers, you have fasting, you have the word that will equip us to run this race. Uh, the race is not for the swift, nor the buckle for the strong, but who endure to the end. And this is a time where the Lord wants us to have the endurance spirit. We have to endure to the end. And, you know, this is where prayers is strengthening each other with prayer. You pray for your sister and your brother. You don't know what they're going through, but you pray for them. You know, some things we have to go in fasting for to get to our breakthrough. There are some things that we just have to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, I'm struggling with this. Please help me. You may not want to specifically say, you know, somebody got through this and whatever. But, you know, let your brother and sister know that you need prayer. When you speak out, you expose the enemy. Because all of us, the reason why we're having so many prayer platforms or having prayer services is not just for the hype. It's say, oh, me can't pray. Oh, me want prayer warrior, me can't pray. It's not about a show. Having these different prayer platforms is about winning souls for the kingdom of God. And we want everybody to make it. And that's why many of us as intercessors sacrifice ourselves to say, any prayer requests, let us pray for you genuinely. You know, we will pray for you, my brother and sister, because you know why? Because we want all of us to make it. We want all of us to run the race. And anybody who have dropped the baton, it's time for you to take up the baton and run this race. You see the many distractions around you. You see the many um, attacks happening. This is not a time to point on fingers and say, the brother that do me this and the brother do, do me that. It's time to let go and let God have his way in our lives. Yes, you might lose your job, you might lose your house, you might lose something. But remember that the whole purpose of us living is to serve the Lord. Whatever you have lost in this season, if you tap into the presence of the Lord, if you tap into fasting and the word, the Lord will give you back everything that the enemy stole from you. Once you are sincere, once you are staying in his presence, once you continue to follow his kingdom principle, the Lord will direct you. I'm sure that many of us have been through so much through February. I've seen so many attacks during february but i see where the lord has provided for myself and my husband i see where the lord has opened doors for my family i see where the lord is directing us in his path because it's not about me it's about god and the situation and the case that you're going through god wants to get the glory out of your situation and we are learning each day i am still learning you are still learning and i'm just encouraging someone to run the race run the race that is easily that is, that is set before you. Don't give up in this season. If you have given up on your prayer life, you know, go back to the altar. As I heard my missionary Maxine um, on the prayer line earlier for Lancaster said, sometimes you shout at Jesus and you don't feel nothing. You go back to the altar again and you shout another Jesus. You shout the third time. You know, push until something happens. Push until something births. And this is not the time to give up. This is the time to press on. I will press toward the mark of the price of the higher calling. So whatever you're going through today, keep pressing, keep encouraging each other. When you see a brother and sister, when they fall, we don't laugh after them, but we pray for them. When the enemy is coming like a flood and try to show up themselves, this is as easy to pray for your enemies. Trust me, it was not easy. I am still learning to pray for my enemies. 
and we have to pray for our enemies because they're the ones sometimes who have the blessing lock up for you and these are the persons that will come around and help you in the end so i'm learning each day to pray for your enemies those of our heart against you those some people just don't like you for no reason at all pray for them you know or your unsafe family pray for them all when you look like they're not safe and yeah pray and how long you pray for this a cousin yeah yeah for this a brother yeah, yeah pray how long and he's not safe and you wonder what if you do again just keep being persistent one day it will turn around I heard our bishop said on son, Bishop Scott said on Sunday, that if we ever get a glimpse of what hev, um, hell is, you wouldn't want your own enemy for go to hell. Even Satan himself, you don't want to see him go to hell. If you actually understand the dimensions and what happened down to hell, you don't want your, your enemies for go down there. So whatever it takes to help your brother and sister, you know, you reach out to our, sister, our brother and sister, check up on your brother, check up on your sister, as you realize that mental health is on the rise. And I really desire to read more about mental health because that is my passion. And, and, and that's what I studied when I was in college, social work. And I realized that um, many persons' minds are under attack. So you have to check up on your brothers and your sisters. Suicide is on the rise. Depression is out. Depression is real. Mental health is real. And persons are struggling. But we are here to pray for one another. Check on your family member. Check up on your friend. I'm encouraging somebody, run the race. Anything that easily beset us, run the race. The Lord is gathering the sons of God. Those who drop the button, take up by the button of prayer. And I hope somebody was encouraged. And we are praying for you in the midday watch. You might not see us coming on live, but we are behind the scenes praying. You might not see us coming on often on the Facebook live. But as soon as the Lord leads us together, together to pray on Facebook, we'll notify you. But we are praying for you all and we pray for you midnight. God bless you, Jardine, Peter. Thanks for joining in. And I'll be praying at this time. If there's any prayer requests, just go ahead. But as I'm just coming on to encourage us from Hebrews 12, 1 to 2. And I repeat, wherefore seen, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. Let us lay aside weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So Jesus is the author and is the finisher of the book. He, um, he knew us before time began. He knew us before time began. Therefore, the Lord knows when our book is going to close. But we don't know when we're going to leave this earth. But God is the author and the finisher of our faith. So if you have lost your faith, ask God to strengthen you in this season. This is a time where you need your faith. This is a time to fight. This is the time to press toward the mark of the price of the higher calling. In Jesus' name. So if there's any prayer requests, you can go ahead. And if there's any um, concern you want us to pray for in prayer alert, you can notify us. And as we transition into March, our theme is let brotherly love continue. So I'm just here to update you. And if there's any testimony that you have that you'd like to share, you can share it with us. You can personally inbox me. You can post it on Facebook and so on. And notify us of the prayer requests that the Lord has answered. And I know that the Lord is answering prayers in Jesus' name. So you can agree with me, Evangelist Code. You can agree with me, Charmaine Forbes, and others who are on. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning in our right mind. You remind us at this time that, Lord, we should run the race at this time. Anything that easily beset us, let us drop it off in this season. I give God thanks for the warriors who have been praying, Lord Jesus, on the line. Lord Jesus, all warriors who are praying in this watch, we agree with their prayers today. Lord, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning and their joy is now. Help us to run this race. Anything that easily beset us at this time and blocking us from moving to the next level, we shut it down. We expose every plot to the enemy at this time that is blocking us to the next dimension in God. Any sin that easily beset us at this time, tear down the strongholds of the enemy. Lord Jesus, help us to let go of our past and press forward. In the name of Jesus, let us at this time drop off any weight at this time, Lord Jesus, that want to block us from the presence of the Lord. Show us how to fast, show us how to pray, show us how to read your word, show us how to pray for our enemies. When people do evil against us, we will pray for them. When people are wrong us at this time in any way, we pray for them. I'm learning, we're all learning. And Lord, we want to make heaven our home. 
our aim and desire at this time, Lord Jesus, is to press forward. If I've dropped the button, let us take up back, Lord Jesus, our button and run the race. Restore our backslider today. Restore our unsafe today. In the name of Jesus, we speak peace into this atmosphere at this time. Touch every prayer alert member at this time, Lord. Touch them in a mighty way. We bind every sabotage set up against the ministry at this time. Lord, any warriors in this group, touch them at this time, Lord. Any warriors outside, cover them on their blood. Lord, February was a trying time, Lord. You have released miracles and healing for us during this month of February. You have provided for me and my family. You have provided for others, Lord. And I believe that you're going to provide for somebody today. Write off somebody check today. Lord Jesus, touch somebody bank account today. Touch our teachers today. Touch our intercessors today. Cover our children at this time, Lord. Touch at this time, Lord, our intercessors, the body of Christ. Lord, you're just coming off of a platform praying at this time. And I believe by faith that you have released the prayers across the nation, across the world. Those are in Ukraine at this time, send help to them. In the name of Jesus, strengthen our mothers and our fathers at this time. The intercessors will feel like giving up, strengthen them. In the name of Jesus, we'll pull at this time, Lord Jesus, the warriors in this end time. Lord, release your word today at this time that we should run the race, Lord. Release your prophetic words for February, for March, for April, May. June, July, August, September, send help in the name of Jesus. We are sending angels each and every person listening to these prayers. Those will be listening offline. Touch them in a mighty way. I give God thanks for your words. I give God thanks for your prophetic shift at this time. Cover each and every person that is listening in the name of Jesus. I give God thanks for Janiel Williams. Touch her at this time in a special way. In the name of Jesus, you knew that she would be on. Listening at this time, remember Jardine Peter covering their blood at this time. Every spirit that rises up against her will shut it down. Cover Rosemary at this time, covering their blood. Cover Lois Simpson Mills at this time, bless her family. Cover Evangelist Code at this time and her ministry and family. But Ben every Sabbath set up against her at this time, Lord. All warriors who are listening, strengthen them today. Lord, with the kind of care blood coverage over Pastor Nicole at this time, Lord. Bless her in a special way. Lord, remember at this time, Sister Marsha covering their blood at this time. Every spirit rise up against her. We shut it down, Brother Asian and family, Sister Ali and family, Sister Shavan family cover them on their blood we are saying angels at this time lord jesus sister stacy and family strengthen them at this time my husband cover him on their blood lord jesus every family member touch them at this time lord release our unsafe family our backsliding family our pastors our bishops our leaders release them in this watch in the name of jesus somebody need healing somebody need a miracle today in the name of Jesus, touch down at this time into some homes, touch down into some neighborhoods, touch down into some communities, touch down into some schools. Lord Jesus, touch down into some banks, some supermarkets, Lord. Lord, write off somebody rent at this time, write off somebody mortgage in this watch. Lord, release a job for somebody today. Lord, anoint some application papers, they need a job. Lord, release at the same promotion and the job. Have you attack launch against your people in the workplace? We we'll shut it down. Some people want to open their own business, Lord. They have the vision, they write it down, but they don't have the money and the tools, Lord Jesus, to progress forward with their ministry. Send help. In the name of Jesus, some person want to build their house and buy their own home, provide for them. Lord Jesus, some want to open their closed store. Lord, send help, Lord. Release entrepreneurs at this time, Lord. Send help to them. Lord, some want to open their own baking business, Lord. Make provision for them. Lord Jesus, some person want to open their own school. Lord, some want to open their own apartments at this time and sell land, Lord Jesus. Some want to go into estate business. Send help to them. In the name of Jesus, I give God thanks for sending help. In the name of Jesus, release help to somebody. Release angels to make transaction for us. Some need their visas to be released, Lord. Touch their passports to be released at this time. Their immigration papers to release in the name of Jesus. We turn down the stronghold of the enemy today. I give God thanks for exposing every adversary of hell. In the name of Jesus, release some persons in marriages today or singles who are waiting on the Lord. Send help to them. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Some release their engagements, release their wedding dates at this time, their wedding colors at this time. In the name of Jesus, send help to our singles today. Send help to our men. Send help to our women at this time, Lord. Lord, touch our teenagers today at this time that they may stay in your presence, Lord, because you have greatness for them. In the name of Jesus, strengthen some marriages that are broken today. In the name of Jesus, and send help to the household, send help to the family. Restore some broken marriages at this time. Restore some broken families. Restore some broken friendships today. Lord, in the name of Jesus, some broken, O oh Lord Jesus, relationship within the churches, mend them. In the name of Jesus, heal our leaders at this time, Lord. Their marriages at this time, Lord. Their connection with the people at this time, send help. Lord, send help to those in Ukraine at this time. Lord, send help to those in Russia. In the 
name of Jesus, minister to your people today. I give God thanks for shifting the, this atmosphere. Whatever the enemy meant for evil, turn it around for good. In the name of Jesus. I give God thanks for what he's doing in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you, Lord. I give God thanks that somebody got their release today. That whatever you're worrying about financially, he's going to open that door. And I want to encourage somebody because he did it for me. I remember my husband and I was worrying about a particular situation and the Lord just opened the door right on time. And the Lord provided for us financially. And if he did it for me, he can do it for you. That child that you're worrying about to pay their tuition, he's going to provide. That scholarship that your daughter or child lost, God is going to restore it for you. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but the Lord is with you. Whatever you're going through, he is a provider. He's a way maker. He's a promise keeper. He's a light in the darkness. God bless you, Rosemary. God bless you, Charmaine Farber. God bless you, Evangelist Nicola. God bless you all. And have a blessed day in Jesus' name.